So I'm here in the house, also known as the hot box in Osupenko. And this family is amazing. Like they can dig a well, make absolutely anything from nothing, survive off the land. The list goes on and on, right? But there's one thing that I don't understand at all. And that is uh, ventilation of the house. <laughs> keeping the windows closed at night when it's cooler out and the house is warmer inside. So I made up this little diagram. 40 Celsius outside, 30 Celsius inside. We keep the windows closed. When it's 20 outside and 30 inside, we open the windows, put the fan on. When it's the next morning, when it's 20 outside and 20 inside, we um, close the windows again. So I bought a couple fans too to help out this process because there's absolutely like no ventilation in the house. Jarka? Yes? Yeah. Wow, she's used to it now. Jarka? Yeah. And the fans have found a home near the the one window that, it, well, there's a couple of them, but the window that doesn't open. The biggest mystery so far. Yeah. Олег, сколько метров сегодня? Ну еще метр. Got up early this morning, did the usual, prayed with the family, ate breakfast, and then Valeria and I went out to a few people's homes and gave them rice. Так, Олежику еще пачечку, Максик. Спасибо. I don't know where Valeri gets this rice. I think he must get it through the church or something. Because we have like a lot of rice. But the thing is we don't eat it. I think we've only eaten it like once. And they like it, but she just gives it out. So we walked around to different people's homes and obviously people that needed rice or any food, we just gave rice. Right? It's very simple, very humbling. This man, despite losing what he's lost and not having much economically, still gives. Former Gopnik, street fighter, alcoholic, drug addict. He told me he's done a, pretty much everything and he was, he was shooting up a lot. Um, I don't think it was heroin. I think they, they used something different here. I'm not sure what it is, but it's something like heroin. He shows Ukrainians and everyone else, the world, you can turn it around. <sighs> Lesson number, I don't know, 536 of this trip. It's really humbling <laughs> to uh, watch what this man does and how he works. And, his constant giving is constant helping. I want to talk about Anna. I've never seen anything quite like her. 
She does absolutely everything. She knows exactly what she's doing. There's no hesitation. She cooks. She takes care of these kids amazingly well. She's a beautiful mother. Always positive, always laughing, never complaining. Actually, early this morning, we went out to, to a school and helped kids with toys. It's pretty sad, actually. There's just like these broken toys and we showed up with super glue and a few things. And she's just cool. She's one of the coolest people I know. She plays the piano. She's, she can paint, she can sing. I love this woman on her. this morning digging the well there's our man the one and only <laughs> Max Buretti a special case and then look how deep we are now getting really far in there теперь ты видишь на какие они камешки So the animal slaughterings are not my favorite part out here. You know, Vladi cut the head off and then he grabs it by the feet and uh, lets the blood drain out of it. But the wings are still flapping. So it's sort of a twisted sight. На вас лица прям нет. And then it went right into a hot bucket of water. Anna had the bucket of water and they defeathered it and they skinned it. And we were cooking the thing like within an hour or eating within an hour. They're super connected. Like I said, they're super connected with their food. So I get it. It's cool that they're doing it that way. I mean, it's, it's how they live. The goose slaughtering not nearly as bad as the goat. Thick skin looking dude, he came with a knife. He's like, I guess the guy in town who, if you want a goat butchered, he's the guy to come over and do it. He normally takes 50 grivna, which is like $2. Vladi gave him 100 grivna, so $4 to do all that work. And it wasn't any sort of quick death. I mean, the thing was, struggling for a long time. I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't the most enjoyable experience to uh, watch that thing get slaughtered, but hey, it's how it happens here. Well, they're close to their food. They're super in touch with what they're eating. So, nothing against it. I'm just gonna say it's like not the most enjoyable experience to, to witness. Just being that up close and personal to the process makes it um, a little less attractive eating meat. <laughs> Which I was eating it like an hour after I was eating the kidneys and the heart and everything and whatever other organs that were on my plate. Это Питер. Вот это все. Почки, печень, сердце. Голова. Хорошо. Оп. Симпатичный. Очень хорошо. And it's good protein. I was, I was happy to get the protein, to be honest. Felt really good afterwards. So Valeri is going uh, deep on the uh, the goat's head, and I'm just gonna uh, go the amateur route and have some eggs this evening instead. The tongue was good though. The tongue is actually quite tasty. Valeri, what are you doing? Glass, I am. It's a delicatessen. Glass, I'm smoking with you.
Оп! Достаем тарачок. Видишь? Вот этот раз. Оп. Сол. Солька. Конечно. Хлебушка берем. Хлебушка. И... Вкусно. Вкусно. Yeah, they're really close to their food. Everything's up close and personal. It's not done in some factory. It's not done some mysterious way. It's, it's done by their own hands. By their animals that they fed the food they know. It's more real. But I don't want to do it. It's not my thing. That's that story. Like all these days, I'm pretty dead at the end. So, till next time. Sayonara.